waiting for the visible splendor of, of, of the glory of God to be seen upon you. Somebody say it's a time. Somebody say it's time for the visible a splendor of God to be seen upon you. One more time, somebody say it's time for the visible splendor of God to be seen upon me. One more time, somebody say it's time for the visible splendor of God to be seen upon me. Oh yes, folks are going to stop you and say, I, I see something different about you. Oh, what, what is it? You say it's the glory you're seeing. Somebody say the glory, the glory. When all the folks in your age group looking old, disheveled, and broken, when they say, man, you look like you were like when we were in eighth form and sixth grade and so on, you're looking good. Somebody says the glory. Oh, somebody say the glory. The glory of God can give you the best facelift. Somebody say, uh-huh. Touch your neighbor and say, the glory of God can give you the best facelift you have ever seen. Oh, yes, 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 sir. The glory. Folks are going to be running you down and say, the glory of God is upon you. And you say, oh yes, uh, do you want some of it? Uh, don't take it off yourself and lay your hands on them folk. Uh, or somebody say, yes, that's me. And then we ran down to Haggai 2, 7 and 9. Just go over to Matthew, go back 3 chapters if you should find Haggai. But Haggai 2, 7 and 9 says, And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And it says, and I will fill this house with glory. Somebody say, God is going to fill this house with his glory. Touch your body and say, God, fill this house with your glory. Because once this house in flesh is filled with the glory of God, we become glory carriers. Somebody touch your belly and say, God, cause me to be a glory carrier. Oh, I can't hear. One more time. Somebody say, God, cause me to be a glory carrier. He says, and I will fill. This is his will to fill this house and also your house, which is a temple with his glory. Somebody say hallelujah. And then in verse 8, Haggai 2 and verse 8 says, The silver is mine. Everybody say, The silver is mine. And the gold is mine. Said who? The Lord of hosts. We saw that right behind the glory, God turned from the glory of God. And he starts saying, Coming out of the glory is gold. Coming out of the glory is what? Silver. And he says, Ain't no man own. Ain't no woman own. No one person can dam it up. Somebody say, Thank God. I can't hear. Somebody say, Thank God. That no one organization could build a dam and say all the gold that heaven has flow here and stop here. And so if you want to come to me, you be my servant and, and take a little piece. Somebody better say thank God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say the gold and the silver belongs to our papa. I can't hear. Somebody say the gold. And the silver belongs to our what? Papa. The papa who is too much. Somebody say too much. Somebody say so much. Our papa who is into multiplication. Somebody say multiplication. Ah, he's into addition. Somebody say addition. Somebody say overflow. I, I can't see a, I can't see some of you all mouth. Come on. Somebody say overflow. Somebody stand and say he is into what the push down. Shaking together and running over. I, I can't hear. I can't hear. Some of you ain't doing the prophetic thing. Come on. Somebody say he's in what? The push down. Shaken together and running over. Lord, give all those who stood and did a prophetic gesture. Bless them with a the push down and shaking together and running over. You can sit quickly. Ah, right now, somebody say hallelujah. We're preaching and prophesying. Amen. Those who are not lazy, you're going to get the prophetic blessing. Somebody say, are you with me right now? So the glory. Somebody say the glory. The reason why the glory must come back to the house of God is that God cannot do much. Even though he asks you for 10 cents, there's not much he can do with that 10 cents. But God is so good, he asks you for 10 cents. Somebody say, God's good. Even though some folks don't shop with the 10 cents. But God said, give me 10, take the 90. Somebody say, uh-huh. Somebody better give God a high five and say, God, you're good. I give you little and I keep much. Somebody say, uh-huh. That's God. But he says, you understand me? He's going to multiply it. Somebody say, multiply it. Somebody said, I got to trust God. I got to prove God. I can't hear some of you in the casket. Somebody said, prove God. Come on, somebody said, prove God. You see what happened when you, when you release the 10 cents? I mean, even before the glory comes, you are attracting more glory. To accelerate that which you have given in the glory. Somebody said, hallelujah. Because if you've been banking and giving into the glory, what happened that the heaven's bank is receiving it. Somebody said, heaven's bank. Don't miss this one. Somebody say, heaven's bank. 
And where heaven is, it's the glory. Somebody say glory, glory, glory. And, and so you're investing in the glory. So when the glory start paying you up, uh, it's acceleration time. Somebody say hallelujah. You put in 10, and then he's saying 1,000 times more. I can't hear you up in the house. Somebody say you put in 10. And in your 10, he not getting, he not, he's not saying you're getting back 10%. He is in the glory. He's saying, I'm going to multiply it a thousand times more. Somebody shout a thousand times more. I, I can't hear. Somebody shout a thousand times more. I can't hear. Somebody shout one thousand times more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When you put into the bank of heaven, you got the audacity. You got the, you got the boldness. Somebody say Hallelujah. You got the temerity. Somebody say, uh-huh. To go and knock on heaven's bank and say, pay time. Pay me up in the glory. I, I, I dare you to say, if you got something in the bank of heaven, say, God, I need some pay now. I can't hear you. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Somebody say, I need some pay. I need my pay day in the glory. I, I, I can't hear you. Somebody say, I need my pay day. <laughs> One more time. Somebody say, I need my pay day in the glory. Woo, hallelujah. So the glory, somebody say the glory. When the glory comes on the scene in the church, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say when the glory comes on the scene. I want you to get a prophetic picture. I want you to see it, hallelujah. I want you to go with me prophetically in, in, in the glory. That when the glory comes, right in the glory, hallelujah. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt... And they encountered the glory. Somebody said the glory. The very shoes. They didn't have to go to buy no shoes from Jesse Penny. Somebody said, uh-huh. No, 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 no shoes from uh, Peles. Somebody said, uh-huh. Because when the glory comes, it's, you know, it says there was no sickness among them. Somebody said no sickness. Somebody shouted and said no sickness. When the glory comes, that's why the enemy wants to frustrate you. Your family and the church. So that we cannot concentrate on him. So he can bring the glory. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say I am a magnet for the glory of God. I can't hear you. Somebody say I am a. Come on, come on. Somebody say I am a magnet. I am attracting the glory of God with everything I got. With my spirit. With my walk. With my obedience. I am attracting the glory of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the enemy knows when the glory comes that your shoe is going to be preserved. Your body will be preserved. Your mind will be preserved. Somebody say hallelujah. Our sons and daughters will experience acceleration in their classrooms. Watch out now. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Then before the stuff goes up on the blackboard, they will know the answer. They'll be the first to finish their essays. They will know stuff. Somebody say hallelujah. Because the math came from where? Glory. Physics came from where? Glory. Languages came from where? Glory. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, uh-huh. Language came from God. When God came down to see what they were doing when they were building the Tower of Babel, languages came from God. Somebody say hallelujah. So when the glory shows up, languages are there too. I can't hear the house up here. Dream with me. Think with me. Somebody say the glory. Somebody said, we are going after the glory hard. Woo! Somebody said, nothing's going to stop me. I am un unstoppable. I am going hard. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let me do all the talking up here. Somebody said, I am going hard. Uh, after the glory. When it comes, hallelujah, concerning going hard after the glory, somebody better say, I am unstoppable. Husband ain't going to stop me. Wife ain't going to stop me. Hallelujah. What the rest church folks are saying about me, not going to stop me. Somebody say hallelujah. If I got to move into the glory all by myself, I'll do it. Somebody say hallelujah. If nobody praying me there, I'm going to pray myself there. I can't hear the church up in here today. Somebody better say uh-huh. So when the glory shows up, everybody, hallelujah, is the beneficiary. Everybody up in the church house becomes a beneficiary of the glory of God. Your sons, your daughters, hallelujah, begin to think in their right mind. Your husband that's at home, start, get, start taking the glory home. They start thinking in their right mind. Somebody say hallelujah. Wife at home start thinking in their right mind. Somebody say uh-huh. Even your dog and cat, because you're taking the glory home. Somebody say I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. 